the U.S. report about the Nigerian 2023 presidential election is out. And uh, what can you say about uh, the position of the U.S. in that regard? Good morning. Thanks for having me. That's what I've always been saying. That election is the worst election in the history of Nigeria. You understand? That we saw in Lagos how they mentioned that um, a particular tribe, exactly the people, they were not allowed to vote. They were beaten, they were suppressed. We saw the videos on um, the pictures and videos on, on, on our social media platforms. They were they were intimidated and everything. Because they felt that um, the Igbo are maybe they are going to vote for another political party. This, this, this is why I said I don't want state police. Now, ordinarily, that, that was under federal police system. So what happened to the Igos? Now imagine that there's a po state police. What could have happened? It is time to tell ourselves the truth in this part of the world. Do you understand? Nigeria is not one. And it can never be one because of the deliberate attempt to sideline the Igbo people. Do you understand? Nigeria is just a geographical entity. It's not yet a nation. You cannot be doing injustice with particular people and so that that country to progress. Understand? Where there is no fairness, equity, and justice, there can't be peace and progress there. I always be speaking about it every time. You understand? So, so these are the problems you are facing now in this country. You understand what I'm saying? So, on because that election, you saw it was you see you even saw how people traditional uh, worshippers they brought sacrifices everywhere. They put sacrifices in every part of almost every part of Lagos. But until now. After one year now, they've not. Is, is it that, is that sacrifice? Is it, is it every election sacrifice? We have not seen that sacrifice again. So this is the problem. Let us tell ourselves the truth in, in Nigeria for once. You understand? The only the, the only target I, I've been saying is that if Nigeria want to progress, you should bring the egos back to the government because they are good in business. These are business people. They have brain to think to. To, to, to establish something. You understand? In, in, in a normal nation, you cannot sideline business people. But Nigeria is what it is. That's why it's not working. You understand? You sideline them, you try to harass them. You According to the US, there is gross uh, suppression of uh, Igbo race and other nationality from participating, of course, uh, in their free choice of who becomes their uh, president. Then, uh, what is the importance of this after even the swelling in uh, less than uh, a year now the election was conducted do you consider the report valid of any importance no you see the the u.s people they are hypocritical they are hypocrites and that's very very bad they are just after one year you're just coming back down with the report so what purpose to what hand what is the what is their hymns and 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 objective for just releasing this report now. Let us tell ourselves the truth for once in this country so that so that we can move forward. What happened about like, close to one year? You're just releasing the report. Good morning to the US people now. They're just waking up now. Does that now justify, uh, of course, uh, the agitation of the Eastern people that they are not part of Nigeria and they have been schemed out of events and as such, they have decided to move on with the Biafran state. I, um, I, you see, I, I understand the people when they say they want to go. Because there's a deliberate marginalization for them. For them, There's a way that they, they want to plan so that they, that they will not become president in this country. You understand? So when they say they want to go, because they are feeling like, like there's injustice in this country. So if they say they want to go, I understand them. And I feel for them. You understand? I'm a Christian, so you must have human feelings. Because if there's an injustice against a particular people, you must say it. Do not be afraid. You understand? God has given you mouth and wisdom to think so that you can say the right things. So that you should not be swayed with terrible politics. I'm a Yoruba person, I'm part of a Yoruba person. But what they are doing to the people is very bad. I've been speaking about it. It's very, very bad. After Yoruba, after outside Yoruba, is that I'm supposed to be in a nation? And even when Jonathan said um, becoming president, it was by accident, even by the death of Yara Adwa, he would, not have, he would not have become a president. Here there are three major tribes, but only two is allowed to, 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 to be the president. 
Is that supposed to be in a, in a nation? So this is a deliberate plan. I've been saying this without no apologies. It's a deliberate plan not to allow the people to attain the, the, the highest political position in Nigeria. You agree that uh, if the, the Yorubas were the ones that suffered such fate of marginalization and suppression, do you think they would have taken it uh, lightly with the Igbos? No, that's why, that's, why, that's why people like us are speaking out. Because if it was your people, like, if it was we, your people that are facing what the Igbos are facing, you understand? We too would have been shouting like them. That's why I always tell my fellow Yorubas people. Anytime I say my fellow Yorubas that is criticizing the Igbos, I say, no, put yourself in their shoes. That's what they call empathy. By put yourself in somebody else's shoes and understand their plight. You have deliberately marginalized them. And you're asking them not to, you are beating the child, you ask the child not to cry. That's you're a witch. You're a wicked person. I'm, I'm not a wicked person. When I see something that I feel, I say my mind. This marginalization is evil. They stop marginalizing, they stop marginalizing the evil people. And put them in their right position, which they deserve. Nigeria is like, a, is like a tripod, three legs. You remove one, that's why it's not working. And unfortunately, it might not work because uh, the Igbos and the other beer friends, the Easterners, have made up their mind, of course, to leave Nigeria. And this, they say, remains sacrosanct and uh, a point of no return. Thank you once again for your wonderful submissions. Your parting words as uh, uh, this development is unfolding. Um, now it is time for Nigeria. If we want to be one Nigeria, let every tribe be given equal and fair opportunities. Let there be equity, fairness, and justice. But if you don't want one Nigeria, then it will be liable to go their separate ways. But you should stop marginalizing the major tribe in Nigeria. That is the biggest evil. That is bedeviling Nigeria. That's why Nigeria is not working. Bring them back to national consciousness. Give them their rightful place. Stop marginalizing them. Because as many are marginalizing your baby too, I'll be I'll be angry and I'll be talking about it. So enough is enough. Enough of this marginalization against the good people. That's what I want to say. Thank you once again for your submissions and frankness.